Hi, I'm Steve Miller. Call me Slim. And this is the Ask Slim Market Week. It's a look back at what happened in the financial markets in the past week. And a look forward to what might happen in coming weeks. And hopefully, lots of great ideas and opportunities for you throughout the show. Well, the stock market was soft early in the week, as earnings warnings came from NVIDIA and Micron. But that changed significantly on Wednesday morning after the CPI, month after month, indications came out at no change. Investors had been waiting for a good sign on inflation and a chance to commit more funds, and that they did. Good news also was followed uh, the next day by the CPI, also softer than expected, with the month over month at a minus five tenths of a percent. No, this does not mean we have no inflation, as you might have heard. I'm going to keep this from being political, of course. But if you look at uh, that and you look at the CPI, you would say at a minus five tenths month after month, it's time to fight deflation. Well, of course, all of that is completely absurd because when you look over year over year and we have numbers up 8.5 percent, uh, then you know that inflation is still an issue. And this could have been just a one month anomaly. But between Wednesday and Thursday morning, the S&P jumped 135 points, moving to and a bit through our upside targets for August, before reversing on selling the tech stocks, sending uh, the markets slightly lower for the day on Thursday. Friday morning, however, buyers are back as around the world, people are looking at lower inflation. In the Eurozone, there's reports there that uh, the rate increases are going to stop by the end of the year and probably dribble down to just 25 basis points because, well, the Eurozone's got problems. And that's really bad for uh, the Euro currency and good for the U.S. dollar, which we think is going to have another pop up to the 108 or 109 area. And the stronger dollar, of course, is bad for earnings for international companies, uh, and that's going to be back in the news. Our stock market analysis did suggest that the market would rally up to what would be a 50% retracement, taking it uh, over 4230 or 4240 in that S&P 500. Now it seems like everyone is focused on those levels, and it's pretty sure that we're going to see a close over those resistances to bring in buyers, which I think will be the final hook. Still, the NASDAQ and the Russell, they're a lot weaker, only getting up just over that 38% number. And now, what seems like a contrarian view, this is still a bear market rally. And that's despite the absurdity of the analysts that are calling the NASDAQ a new bull market. And I get constant comments uh, from uh, in social media uh, that the market is heading up to new highs. That's the stock market. Well, I'm laughing. I'm purely a technician, but I still do look around. And what in this world supports a new high in the equity markets, other than the illusions of those still living in the pandemic bubble world? For weeks, I have warned a rally was coming and asked, will you get hooked? I'll show you in a few minutes the timing that I think we'll see for this peak in the stock market. Stocks for the week, well, the fourth week in a row that they've moved up. S&P 500, Russell, up fractionally. The NASDAQ up a bit more, over 1%. Bond markets, 30s, um, they're uh, down about three quarters of a point. NAS, uh, but the TNX, uh, the yields about unchanged on the week. That's the 10 years. 
Gold market up $18 on the week. Silver pops 46 cents. We have been spot on on the timing on our analysis in the metals markets. Uh, I really want to encourage you to go to Future Speak uh, and watch our analysis in there. Uh, dollar down about eight tenths of a percent. And as I said, I think that is going to be moving back to the upside, maybe starting in a few weeks. And the oil market uh, rebounds up three dollars, and we think that is in the bottoming process. And our upside target would be over a hundred and three dollars in coming weeks. For all of that uh, analysis in those futures markets, please do watch our Future Speak show on Wednesdays for members. And I'll be showing you in a moment how you can watch that for free. Coming up uh, in this show, we have uh, some great stuff. Uh, Arby is going to preview uh, that Future Speak video and show you uh, multiple time frame analysis in natural gas using our cycle analysis, of course. Katie will show you multiple signals in the semiconductor stocks and a positive setup in AMD. And Matt is going to show you how to get our content for free. So don't miss this segment and the details of our popular services preview. You can sign up for that with no credit card at all, no risk. And I'll show you more about that, or Matt will, just in a few moments. And then I'm going to bring you the short-term view uh, in the SPX, NDX, uh, and a comment on the Russell. Uh, and uh, then uh, we'll look at uh, that we had only a sideways correction so far in this market, and that our upside target was hit. Please go to AskSlim.com, and if you're new, sign up for that free preview that goes on through 826. Matt will show you where that link is in just a few moments. Uh, on YouTube, uh, do subscribe to our channel, click that notification bell, and like this video. Uh, make sure you give us a thumbs up. On Twitter, follow us at AskSlim. And for any questions on everything that we're going to show you here, you can write to Matt at AskSlim.com. Here is a member video that uh, we're going to show you a preview of Future Speak in Natural Gas. Uh, RV does a great job in this, and he presents 24 different futures contracts, uh, weekly and daily analysis uh, in the Future Speak show. And so we're going to give you an example of that in here as we preview the natural gas analysis. And uh, RV does just a spectacular job. Uh, and I'll show you how you can. Uh, zero in on any of these uh, contracts and watch his analysis uh, just by jumping right to the uh, right place in the video. That's coming up in just a few moments. So watch uh, RV with this great analysis. Weekly on the left, daily on the right. Let's open up natural gas. Again, this is really what we're looking at. So we saw this beautiful rally off this low that slim was pointing out at the time very nicely got the rally into our key targets up here sold off now this sell-off was very sharp into this minor quarterly low so this is a little bit more range bound right now but we got that rising phase in on this minor quarter that's this sell-off now this rally right now if we look at this minor half cycle this minor half cycle is pushing to the downside modestly you can see this is just barely pulling back but looking for a, a little bit lower into this time period around the later part of September and watching for this to turn back up on the upside here. So still overall a positive pattern uh, here in NG on the weekly. So this is the short term cycle analysis for natural gas. So what are we looking at? We have a dominant cycle, which is then broken up into minor halves. We are in this minor corrective period right here. And you can see how this is manifesting on price so far just as a little bit of a flag we want to see this hold around 788 to 682 we don't really want to see it much lower than 682 in this minor corrective period the next low based on this idealized cycle is due around 819 so around that middle to, to later part of august look for that short-term bottom to form and then for this to turn back to the upside levels come in 931 to around 1040 Look for the base of this blue zone here on the upside in this next short-term rising phase. But so far, just pulling back modestly. And uh, we just need to hold up for the next week to week and a half prior to getting that next likely impulse back to the upside, kind of like what happened right there. So keep an eye on NG, certainly a 
interesting setup uh, that we will be watching closely. That's super, Harvey. Really good to uh, show exactly how we do our multiple time frame analysis. This is Katie. She's going to bring you analysis uh, on AMD. And looking uh, at uh, our cycle low tracker tool showing signs of bottoming in the semiconductors. I think you're going to find this really illuminating. Hi, I'm Katie with Ask Slim. On your screen is our cycle low timing tracker, which is a tool that our members can use to identify potential opportunities going into cycle timing windows when we expect the current cycle to make a low, and also coming out of those cycle timing windows when we're entering a rising phase of a new cycle. The cycle low timing tracker covers the symbols on our Ask Slim focus list, and often we see symbols that are part of the same sector appearing on here together. That's the case right now with some of the semiconductors. We have AMD and Broadcom that are still in their weekly cycle timing windows over here, and they also appear over here in the bottom confirmed category for the weekly time frame, along with Applied Materials and Micron and SMH, the Semiconductor ETF. Now, some of those symbols are also in the daily cycle timing window. The one that we're going to focus on today is AMD. Since it's in both its weekly as well as its daily cycle timing window, it's found on the cycle low timing tracker in bold font. The green squares next to AMD are pulled from another Ask Slim tool, the Slimulator Ranking System, and that shows that conditions based on momentum and cycle phasing favor a long side bias in AMD in both the intermediate and short term time frames. Let's go and take a look at the chart of AMD. This is a five-year weekly chart. On the bottom, we have these black cycle brackets that are 24 bars in length. Those cycle brackets are just a drawing tool that helps us to identify average lengths of money flow patterns into and out of a security. The way that the actual cycles shaped up um, is shown outlined in black up around the candlesticks. We also have a green dashed cycle bracket and that is the weekly cycle bracket for SMH, the semiconductor ETF. Now these two track each other very closely, but sometimes they don't, and we like to overlay the cycles of the relevant ETFs or futures contracts on our charts because sometimes they exert an influence on the price action. You'll also notice these blue vertical dash lines over here. They represent a period of time of a few weeks before and after the ideal cycle low when we would expect a cycle to make its low and then begin moving up into the rising phase of the next cycle. Now, AMD made its prior cycle low here, the first week inside the weekly cycle timing window, and is currently in the final week of that window. Now, after a cycle low appears to have formed, we like to get confirmation of the new rising phase, and we use our proprietary momentum indicator, the reversal scout, to show that. When it turns green after a cycle low appears to have formed, that helps us to confirm that new rising phase. Now, we are five weeks off the low, and we're in this resistance zone. We're projecting that AMD can make it up to the top of this zone at around 110, and if it gets through that level, our next target is up here at the 78.6% FIB level, about $120. Now let's switch over to the daily chart. 
Here's the daily chart and you can see that we're in between these blue vertical dash lines on here too. Again, representing a period of time around the end of the ideal daily cycle when we expect a cycle low to form and for AMD to move up into the rising phase of the next cycle. We may have formed that cycle low right here, although we do still have a couple of days left in this timing window. Now momentum in here is positive with both the reversal scout as well as the slim ribbon, which is another proprietary momentum indicator that colors the candles green, gray, or red, depending on momentum conditions. So AMD is in this cycle timing window and appears to be holding this support zone. The slim ribbon PO down here is a projection oscillator that gives momentum continuation signals. Look how well that worked right here. We got a momentum continuation to the upside signal there and AMD had quite a nice upside move. So if we can get another momentum continuation signal off the PO, considering the timing here, that would have us considering a long side bias in AMD. And many of the semiconductors are setting up similarly as we saw on the cycle low timing tracker. To learn more about our tools and services, please come and visit our website at askslim.com. Great job on that, Katie. Thanks. Matt is now going to show you how to get our stuff for free. All of this stuff on this list, Matt, show them. Hello, fellow traders and technical analysis enthusiasts. This is Matt with Ask Slim. As we announced last week, our popular services preview is now on. The PSP will run until August 26th. So if you haven't signed up yet, make sure to do so. Okay, let's head over to AskSlim.com and have a look at the sign up details. On the AskSlim.com website, make sure that you go to the top of the page where you see the Sign Up Now link, or you can click on the Sign Up Now for free popular services button down here. Either way, you'll get to the form. You simply fill out the form here, and signing up is free, easy, and no credit card is required. Fill out the form, and you'll be emailed your username and password. The PSP will give you access to an amazing assortment of our premium services and provide you with a deep dive into the Ask Slim technical analysis methodology. The services included in the PSP will support traders of all styles from intraday to short term swing traders to intermediate multi week and multi month position traders. After you receive your email with your username and password, you'll be able to log in to AskSlim.com and have access to the Popular Services Preview Dashboard, which will contain all of the services and content available during the free preview. All right, let's take a look at how this is organized in a few of the services. In this first section here, you see our trade planning hubs. Within the trade planning hubs, we have our Ask Slim focus list of weekly and daily cycle analysis on 84 of the best traded stocks, ETFs, and futures. You will have access to our weekly and daily chart analysis, as you see here with McDonald's, technical details, directional bias based on our intermediate cycle timing, cycle low dates, anticipated cycle low dates, weekly key levels, and daily key levels as well. We have this both for our equities and ETFs, as well as our futures. So you'll have an excellent overview of our 84 of the best traded stocks, ETFs, and futures that we do our analysis on. Also included in our trade planning hubs is the cycle low timing tracker service that we have available, which is relatively new. It helps you keep a pulse on when there are periods of likely higher downside risk and also be able to stay alert to when bottoms are forming and continued advances are likely. In our technical reports and video analysis and chart stream section, you'll have access to the SIR daily snapshot, which is designed for short term index swing traders looking for daily technical insights into the S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, and Russell 2000. You'll have access to our two hour daily and weekly charts and our price projections that we outline both for the upside and the downside. Our Future Speak show, which is produced by RV on a weekly basis, Professor RV uses our Ask Slim proprietary cycle analysis methodology to review the charts on 24 markets and indexes, the major indexes, energies, precious metals, forex, bonds, VIX, 
Bitcoin and Ethereum. You'll see RV provide short-term and intermediate outlooks with insights into directional bias, key price levels, and important timing windows. Also included in here are two of our chart streams, one for the SPX in a multiple time frame look, which I'm going to show you right now. You'll be able to capture a snapshot of the key technical insights at any moment of the trading day. You'll see our broadcast with our custom Ask Slim proprietary indi indicators and studies at work at multiple time frames. You simply press the play button and you will be able to see our chart stream. Additionally, we have a chart stream for intraday traders, which is our SIR intraday broadcast. You'll have a look at the key levels for the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and the Russell, key support, resistance, breakout, and breakdown acceleration zones. In our trade planning and trade ideas and systems area, you will have access to our trade ideas, which is designed to support your trade planning process. We believe trade planning should be an important step in a trader's process. For this reason, a company each trade idea will be our template which shows the essential components of a trade plan, favorable entry ranges, target zones, and suggested areas where the idea will likely need to be reevaluated. It's an excellent way to understand our process and how we get to a trade idea. Furthermore, you will have access to our simulator rankings system. The simulator ranking system has been developed as a trade planning tool designed to support investors, swing traders, and option traders. It's programmed with our proprietary cycle and momentum analytical work for 84 of the best traded stocks, ETFs, and futures. You'll be able to see these symbols ranked from most bullish to most bearish. It is a very easy and simple way to understand the conditions of our focus list. You'll simply be able to click on the directional bias sort here, and you'll be able to then find those symbols that are setting up as most bearish to most bullish. In our final section here, you will find our replays of the Ask Slim Market Week show and our Ask Slim live events right here and right here. Oh, and as a bonus, you'll also have a behind the scenes look at our Ask Slim community Discord server, which that has been recently launched and continues to expand. For the duration of a trial, you will have a behind the scenes look and through a view only, and you'll be able to still see what goes on between our members and the Ask Slim team. It's a fantastic way to get a feel for what's happening and connect with our analyst team. As I mentioned earlier, this is an incredibly comprehensive mix of services that we're excited to share with you and it supports a variety of trading styles. There's a ton here, and that's why our open house is for three weeks. And don't worry, we have a robust resource section and plan to have live educational webinars during the PSP. That's it for now. Make sure to sign up at AskLim.com and enjoy the PSP. Take care and great trading. Great job on that, Matt. Really appreciate that. And I think with no credit card necessary, um, people should sign up for that right now if you haven't done that already. All this uh, uh, great analysis and teachings that we bring through August 26th at no cost. This is the stock market analysis. Uh, I'm going to bring you analysis on the S&P 500 and NASDAQ. A little comment on the Russell coming in here also. Uh, and a short-term uh, view that we're going to look at one to three weeks. Now, if you want to see the full analysis, now I don't want you to get confused because we get people that, that write me all the time that I said certain things and uh, that's uh, not uh, happening and uh, that uh, the uh, longer-term analysis is what they're looking at when I'm showing short-term analysis. So I want you to be real clear that when I show short-term, it doesn't mean that anything has changed in the longer term, but you can see that all by going to our Futures Hub. All you have to do is uh, go to, uh, for those of you that are members or those of you that are subscribing for our preview that we have going on right now, you can see in here the indexes right over there, and you can get uh, our uh, full analysis by you clicking on that, you can get the weekly chart you can see there, the daily chart that you can see right over here, and the video analysis. So all you have to do is click on that, and it takes you right to uh, the analysis uh, on the individual um, 
uh, on the individual symbol that you're looking at in there. So it takes you right to the correct spot. So, and also there's just great stuff in here. All the comments that I share with our members are in there by clicking in that little uh, box right up on there. And these colors are in here are giving you this, some of the evidence, intermediate term uh, uh, analysis. You can see that uh, in, in these colors as uh, we can see here, Bitcoin and Ethereum I uh, have turned uh, to the positive side as is the bond market right over there and natural gas. There's a lot of things that are neutral in here. As you can see also in the indexes still are negative. So uh, you can get all that great information by coming to the Futures Hub. Uh, and then uh, for those of you that are going to see the short term analysis right now, uh, you will uh, then have the opportunity to see uh, all of the analysis that we have this week. So if you want to get that, uh, just uh, sign up on the top of the front page at AskLim.com. No credit card necessary and you can go to the Futures Hub. Any questions, write to Matt at AskSlim.com. All right, so this is the stock market analysis, and we're going to look at some key short-term support levels that have been established in here, uh, looking uh, at uh, uh, the uh, S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. All right, so let's take a look here as we switch over, uh, and we'll take the hub down also, and this is the S&P 500. So this is super interesting because you can see the cycle analysis in there. For those of you uh, that are new, these are cycle brackets. These are not the cycles. These are just simply a, uh, a drawing tool that gives us a sense of the energetic movement. And we put those in there. It's not a particular study. And you can see in here the rhythms. You see the low that lines up right here. And where they nest is where you get some of the bigger declines pushing to the downside. Those are those yellow ovals that you can see there and there, which cause the market to fall. The ovals don't cause the market to fall. We're highlighting that that's where there's an alignment right in here. And you had a negative cycle and a negative cycle and negative cycle. That means that they finished lower than where they started. Now, let's just zoom right in here, and you could see how things had changed. And we had warned that there was a swapping going on in here. So, in other words, the positive momentum conditions out of the longer term were giving an indication that the, uh, 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 the pressure to the upside was so strong that it would not allow a correction. And it actually was just five or six days sideways right in here in this period that normally would have given you a big decline. That warned us when that was going on that the market was strong. And we said that. And we thought that the market would be moving up again. Originally, we thought it would come down in here into this buy zone area. Uh, but we never did get that really favorable long side entry. These two lines, these two vertical lines right in here, are the bottoming zone time-wise. We do everything in zones, not specific numbers. Uh, because uh, you can get messed up looking at a specific number uh, when the market just doesn't trade that way. It trades much more in the ranges. This is the slim ribbon right over here, which was widening and positive, and we believe that was saying the market was still positive on a short-term basis. And here is the slim ribbon PO where it turned green, and this green arrow right over here is telling you that there's an upside resumption in momentum, and certainly we saw that going on in here as the buying is coming in in the stock market. Now, our upside projections. Well, timing-wise, we're looking at what looks like a low coming in the VIX. Now, the low comes in the VIX in mid to late August, somewhere around week three, potentially week four. And that's why these projections in here that we have take us out to sometime around August 20th, August 22nd, something like that, uh, where the peak in this rally should come. So that's uh, why we have it projected up. Here's that major 50% right over here that everybody's looking at. It got through and then failed uh, here on Thursday. Here it's pretty much right trading on it here on Friday. Uh, and we would, uh, we would expect, based on this timing, that it will make some higher prices. Maybe even close above this 50% uh, and then make everybody bullish, more bullish, and really set the hook for the bulls that... Uh, are thinking that the market's going to new high, living in that pandemic bubble illusion still. Uh, and uh, the world has changed very significantly since then. People are asking me, well, why should the market decline? Well, 
why should it advance? I mean, there are just uh, no more supports that we had in the market uh, like we did before. Uh, and uh, at any time something in the world could happen that would be an event. And I'm not suggesting that. I never use the word crash, but I think at some point it's going to stop going up in here and then begin. And you can see this projection here as we come down into mid-September through early October in uh, that next cycle that's over there. So uh, we'll look for the rally to continue. There's an outside chance it makes it up to that major 61.8. This is that upper green projection. I don't think it's going to get that high if it got through it. I would then certainly have to look at our analysis again for revisions, uh, but uh, I doubt that it's going to get there. Uh, and this is an important number that you see right over here. That is that cycle low support, 412.09. That's the level that if it gets below, it will confirm the top. So right now we're looking at that. It's not that far away. And if it gets below there, it will say that this big cycle, this small one, have, has turned down. So we'll be looking at that. And if that happened, we would then look for momentum conditions to weaken and to turn negative. So right now, everything in here still positive, still pointing to higher prices, as we have suggested, with the strong momentum and strong formations that we see in the cycle patterns. Let's look at the NASDAQ right over here. And the NASDAQ, I will show you similar conditions. As it continued to move down in these negative cycles right through here, you can see that, and then built a more positive cycle right over here, gave you this swamped area there, with a more definition to the decline right in there, and moving up. Now, this is only just through the 38% there. The major 50 is way up over here. It could make it. I have doubts about that. And again, this important number here, let me just get a little closer so you can see it, is 12,945. That's that low right over there. Were it to break that low, it would then confirm that a top was in place. So that is a possibility. Again, look at the slim ribbon. This is our momentum indicator on the daily chart as it turns positive. Here's where it turned positive. You can see the slim ribbon PO turns green there. That tells you momentum conditions were pointing to the upside, and that certainly was super valuable. We thought it could get down into the support buy areas. We had it listed as a buy, even though longer term we were negative. Uh, but still, we were honoring being agnostic to the market and let it tell us what to do. It just didn't fall deep enough. It got into that close to that 13 EMA on the slim ribbon uh, and then burst to the upside. You could see the slim ribbon PO upside arrow gives you that momentum condition. This is a level four uh, proprietary indicator. Uh, that uh, our members just absolutely love. This is Slim Ribbon PO. The Slim Ribbon is free uh, and uh, available for uh, download for the Thinkorswim platform uh, and a couple other platforms uh, also uh, that you can write to Matt uh, at asslim.com to find out about it. So uh, this is a, uh, a good look at the upward momentum that we had in here and, and the Slim Ribbon PO and this upside move, which does suggest it's going to continue up through that VIX peak that we're discussing right there, uh, that goes up into mid-August as it's projected right there, into maybe late August, uh, and then the market turning over to a lot of risk after that. 12, 945, watch that number. That would be the breakdown number in the NASDAQ. The Russell, I won't show that right now, but the Russell is uh, in a condition similar to the NASDAQ as it's only gotten just above that 38% uh, retracement level. Uh, and uh, it is uh, still uh, in a condition similar to the other indexes uh, that uh, it could fall in uh, uh, starting in the, towards the end of August. And certainly uh, the, uh, uh, that's been moving up because of the hope that interest rates are going down. Uh, but that might only be temporary phenomenon here. So uh, the uh, interest rate uh, market could be setting up for a pop in here pretty soon. And then the Russell wouldn't like that. Uh, Russell Index, uh, as they borrow a ton of money, those zombie companies I'm referring to, in the Russell. So that's it. That's the look at the short-term view. 
Uh, and uh, again, if you want to see the intermediate term view, uh, do sign up for free uh, to our uh, popular services preview. You'll be able to watch the video and future speak, go to the futures hub, get all that 24 different futures uh, analysis in there for free. No credit card necessary. That's it. I want you to be extremely careful out there. It is so crazy. And please uh, be uh, just uh, uh, well understood that uh, there are a lot of risks out there. And it is so crazy out there. See you next time. When I'm going to say